How to reline a standard bore part 3. Now that we have all the details, we can start to reline our bore. Our dimensions are 145mm ID, casing depth is 30 meters. It's a steel screen and the screen is 6 meters long. The slot size or aperture of the screen is unknown at this point in time. Therefore, we can use 125 class 12 UPVC threaded casing. This has an outside diameter of 140 millimeter, which will give us room to be able to fit down the old steel casing. The materials that we need. The casing and screen can be 3 meters or 6 meters long. This depends on the height of your gantry or tripod of the pipe that you can lift in the air. If they are to be 3 meters, then double the amount as needed below. 7 lengths of 125 class 12 UPVC casing pipe by 6 meters threaded male and female. 1 length of 125 class 12 UPVC screen with 0.8 millimeter slots or aperture pipe. This is to be 6 meters long. Threaded female one end and a bottom cap on the other. Three bags of 816 sand. Number of bags depends on the diameter of the original bore. You can go to this link here, and this is a calculator for organizing how many bags of sands that you will need. The equipment needed a lifting piece, or, um, or welded lugs, or a drilled hole for the rope and the slings. This is to screw into the casing and lift it into the air. You need a casing clamp. You need the lifting gantry. Again, this height can either be to lift 3 meters or 6 meters clear of the ground. Installation of the screen and casing. Set the tripod or gantry in the center and over the borehole. Screw in the lifting piece to the screen. Connect the lifting piece to the crane and lift screen into the air and then lower the screen into the hole. Lower screen to approx 500 mm above ground and tighten the casing clamp. This holds the casing stem in place while the next piece of casing is screwed into place. If the clamp is not tight enough, the casing and screen may slip through the clamp and fall to the bottom of the bore. This is a disaster and can be very difficult to get back out and also may even damage the bore. When the clamp is tight enough to hold the screen, release crane and remove the lifting piece. Screw the lifting piece into the casing and lift into the air. Then you can lower the casing to just above the screen, gently lowering and turning the casing while lowering. Lower to the thread starts and then keep turning and lowering until the thread is to the shoulder. Tighten thread with a PVC pipe. Don't over tighten this as beefy PVC is not as strong as steel um, and we don't want the pipe broken, but it can be firm. Take up any slack on the lifting rope. Release the casing clamp. Lower casing clamp to approximately 500 millimeter above the ground. Then tighten the casing clamp again and repeat this steps 6 to 13 until the screen sits on the bottom of the bore. Release the rope and remove lifting piece. Cut the casing sticking up as close to the ground to suit your installation. If you do not know the size of the screen or the gravel pack, then pour the 816 sand around the PVC screen to use this as a gravel pack. The bore may need to be developed if the sand gravel pack has been used. This can be done in a various number of ways. Use an air compressor by putting an air line to the bottom of the well and using the air to lift all the fines that may have come into the screen. Also some of the corrosion that might have fallen off the bore casing will also be then cleared. By placing a pump in the bore and pump for a period of time. This method will wear the pump very quickly as the water may contain a large amount of sand in it. You can use a surge block this is a manual method where a pipe is lifted and lowered continuously pushing the sand backwards and forward. If the bore you are relining only needs casing and to join to the original screen then go to part 4 of this presentation or click on the link below. Thank you for taking the time to look at the information we have created for you. 
We hope this will be of assistance to solving your piping drainage and drilling challenges. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact myself or one of our team. Victor Little For more case studies, how-to articles and information, go to www.deps.com.au Then click on to handy links or contact us on 1300-133-000 or you can email us at askus at deps.com.au Depths Products and Capabilities Solving your piping, drilling and drainage challenges with trust and integrity.